someone is regretting letting you go so this person you are not in communication with you you have no communication with this person most probably it's a no contact it might be your ex you might have like you know been with this in no communication with for with this person for a quite a long time it's at least more than a month all right so if it is not something resonating with you this is not your reading honey move on so this is for the people who are in a separation for more than a month so you have not been talking for this person for quite a long time so it looks like it's the end of the story you have you have understood okay there is no hope and this person also understood that there is no hope and actually this is something that this person decided to end this relationship it's not you so if it is resonating so far this reading might be for you who cares who knows you decide so this person actually thought that that's fine i don't care i wanted to end this relationship she's she or he is too demanding they always want this no matter whatever i do they're never happy so i cannot deal with deal with this shit anymore so i have to end this relationship and ended that relationship and then you lost all the hope you were distressful you are not being able to sleep at night but still you are trying to be strong and walking away from this connection now when it happened this person actually somehow regretting this that they have realized that whoever they were like you know leaning on that thinking like i'll be fine whatever bullshit don't know third party fourth party or whatever is the situation or whatever the feeling they had to escape from this connection now they are regretting now they are understanding that they have done a shit show and their life is completely shit show right at this moment so but the thing is that even though this person is still feeling a connection between you and them on the surface there is no communication you are not communicating they are not communicating even because they are thinking that you will communicate but they are not communicating but even if you are not communicating this person still feeling a connection between you and them they are showing me a five of cup and the bridge in the five of cup so it is showing me that you this person still believes that it's still there is a connection between you two even though on the surface it is completely finished um let me see the cards and the current energy of the person what else this person wants to talk about what else they want to tell you if they were in front of you uh, before that the scam alert i have only one tiktok account divine mother's guidance i have no backup account on tiktok so this is more than 70k 75k plus followers and in instagram also the same name divine mother's guidance and outside australia the only option to book a reading with me is paypal i have only one paypal account piali dmg i have i came to know scammers has made the similar name with like divan mai i don't know whatever i don't know whatever it is but i have only one paypal account piali dmg so if you see anybody with similar name or my name taking my name and they created another paypal account that's not me i have only one account paypal which is piali dmg please follow my youtube account to show some love to me if you can hmm? all right so let me see what else this person wants to tell you Too many cards jumped here. I'm very, very tired today. Page of Pentacles. This person wants to communicate with you. Seven of Pentacles. Four of Cups. As I said, they are not happy. Initially, they thought they'll be fine. Everything will be fine. You are kind of a pain in their life. You are asking too much. You are too demanding. You are never satisfied. They can't deal with that. You are asking for commitment or whatever shit. But now they are regretting this. When you are walked away from this condition, their world is falling apart. They are not happy with anything. They can't, you know, deal with anything. No matter whatever they are doing, they are not happy, and they are working hard um, you know, to keep their occupied, just keeping themselves busy. And probably there are too many things in this person's plate. They are working really, really hard. I'm seeing that they are very busy at work, but they still want to come forward and message you because deep inside they are missing your energy. And this person need to work on themselves too. I mean, they have a lot of traumas, honey, a lot of childhood traumas. They don't even know what is a stable connection, what is a committed relationship. This is. A missing your energy they are totally missing your energy you are the emotional the person like you are kind of a person like this person feels to come at the end of the day like you know at the end of the day if there is somebody i can go and i can just be relaxed i can feel whatever doesn't matter whatever your gender tarot has no gender honey hmm? no gender. so it's queen doesn't really mean that you have to be be a female all right or you know whatever you can relate to yourself to doesn't matter Um so yeah this person is actually missing you and also I'm sensing that you probably did some magic on this person you did some magic on this person or it might be something to connected with water all right if you done any magic with water that involves water if if you have done that that's actually working and if you didn't do it that's okay don't have to really I didn't do spell 
It's a collective reading, honey. It's a free thing that you are getting. Everything will not be resonating with you. So if you didn't do it, if you didn't do it, simple. Common sense. Hmm? Such an uncommon thing in this today's world. I know after, even after that, many people will come in. I didn't, I didn't do any spell work. I didn't do any spell work. This is all bullshit. Then why are you even watching me? Hmm? Fuck off. Seven of shorts. So this it looks like somebody actually lied in this connection. This person or you, something was hidden, something came up on the surface. That's why all those separation happen. So that's hurting this person a lot. Some somebody was hurting, like you know, um, was hiding things, and that's actually hurting. So it's like a lot of hurt going on. Like you know, it's like opening a new one. Ah, there is a third party. Um, so it looks like there is a third party. So if this reading is for you, this is for the third party, honey. I think this person left you or backstabbed you or lied to you about the third party. Now listen, this third party don't have to be another romantic partner. Okay, third party can be their mother, father, donkey, monkey, as I always say, cat, dog, car, even the fan that's in front of me. That can be a third party. Anything that creates problem between you two guys and keeps you to like you know away from each other. Their addiction. They think you walked away, completely walked away. They think they're losing you. They're feeling the energy that you are pulling it back. So when you, that's the reason I keep on telling when it is a no contact, do not message them, do not stalk their social media because when you do that, they feel that, okay, this person is there in my life. So whenever I want, I can go back to them. Remember one thing, honey, if it is a no contact, somebody broke up with you. If keep, if you keep messaging them or if you keep showing up in there for you, like, you know, whatever they are, like, you know, their social media or liking their whatever, you are actually helping that person to move on. Whenever you give your energy to this person, you are actually helping this person to move on. Hear it correct. So if you don't want to help that person to move on completely from you, just pull your energy back. If you don't pull your energy back, you are actually helping that person. So if you want that person to come back to you, you let them feel the pull. You pull back. Or if you just keep going like watching on their social media, messaging them constantly or saying hi, hello, or if they're trying to come back to you saying hey, bread crumbing you, just do not respond. Unless they come, come back to you begging that I made a mistake and I want to be in this connection again. It's just not just checking how are you doing? No, because when they do that and if you keep on replying to them, it's like this person gets the assurance. Okay, if I know this, no, need this person again, if I feel like I made a mistake, I can come back. But... If you do that, this person will be able to move on from you easily. So you are actually helping them to move on. If you don't want them to move on, do not reply to this bed breadcrumbs or do not give them any sign that you are watching them. Last card. This person is trying to make a decision. You might be somebody from overseas connection or a different city, different town, some connection with overseas or some different place. So that might be resonating. Okay. So this person is trying to make a decision. I wanted to take the last card. But this is something it's really want to be. This person wants to reconcile with you. So um, if that resonates, that might be your reading. You might be dealing with a strong um, earth sign, water sign, air sign, fire sign, what not. Anything, anyway, doesn't matter. So, yeah. Um, again, it's a collective reading. Everything will not be resonating with everybody. Everybody. Do not have to prove that you are stupid by commenting like, Oh, that is not me. It's like a collective reading. It picks up the energy of the, all the people, collective people, you know? So it should not be exactly your, your customized reading. And if you want that shit, book a private reading. The link is in my bio and on the option outside Australia if you have a PayPal. Otherwise, you can't book with me. And only PayPal account is PLEDMG. Hmm? I hope it helps. Take care. Love you.